New horse races have arrived in Red Dead Online, and I started playing them uh, Tuesday morning, and it took me a quick minute to end up doing all eight of those races, and finally, I got through all eight races, so I'm going to share with you my thoughts and uh, kind of a review, a rant, all that combined into one regarding what I think of the new horse races now available in Red Dead Online. By the way, you are welcome to chime in below in the comment section with your views, your opinions, your thoughts, what you like, what you don't like regarding the new horse races below in the comment section. So as mentioned, we have eight brand new races from all horse race categories, regular races, open races, target races, as well as probably my least favorite, open target races featuring the new maps, Ansberg, which is a regular race, Cumberland Falls, Open Target, Stillwater Creek, Open Race, Lagra, Target Race, Bendig Point, Open Target, Mancinia Post, a Target Race, Gap Tooth is an Open Race, and finally, Flat Iron Island Loop is a regular race. So yes, eight new races added to the game. I tried them all out, and i got to say this. I wasn't really expecting them to be anything impressive or special. They're pretty much on par with the uh, older horse races in the game, except for the fact that we have some new racing locations that have been included, courtesy of these eight new horse races. So they're really not much better or worse, except for the open target races. Those were horrible. I hated doing Cumberland Falls as well as Benedict Point. I hated those two open target races. Quite interesting that they both happen to be open target races. I did not have a good time with either one. I kept stumbling. I kept hitting trees, rocks, while at the same time trying to hit the targets, roaming around the map. And of course, on occasion, as expected with horse racing and random online, there are players that are just going to ride around killing other players for lulls. That's just something they like to do for reasons, since they're allowed to do it because the horse races in Red Dead Online have quote-unquote forced weapons. There are some silver linings. We did get new content, something to hold us over till the summer update comes out. So eight new races for everybody that's into racing in Red Dead Online. Along with that, we still have uh, the opportunity to earn triple money, triple XP, doing the new races as well as old races throughout the event week that's going on. So that's a positive. And uh, it's all found in the feature playlist. So you go to the main menu, you go down to the feature playlist for the new horse races. That's where you can find them. I'm glad that we have the feature playlist. It's better than nothing when it comes to the horse races. However, I prefer the mode UI system of GTA Online way better than what we have in Red Dead Online. And it's not just for horse racing. It's for all the other PvP modes as well. For one thing, you can't select specific race that you want to play. And that's why it took me almost all day to go through all eight races because there were plenty of times the same races kept popping up. Cumberland Falls popped up multiple times as well as Lagra, Mancinia Post, Gap Tooth. You get the idea. So it took me a while to finally get through all eight races. Whereas with the mode in GT Online, I could just select specific races that I want to do. So I could have got through all eight races much faster. And also, I love the fact that in GTA Online, you have the ability to host these PvP or PvE modes and invite friends and posse members and even auto-invite randos to come join you when it comes to racing in GTA Online. I wish that was the same thing in Reddit Online, but alas, it's not. Another thing you obviously cannot do when it comes to horse racing and Reddit Online is something I may have complained about once or twice or ran about before in the past. Disabling weapons. Except for target and open target racing because obviously you need weapons to shoot the targets. I would very much like to be able to do racing and open racing without having to worry about other players shooting me. Especially when I'm almost about to get either first place or at the very least a spot on the podium at the very end of the race. That shit is so annoying. I got so pissed off. I was salty throughout my ordeal of uh, doing those races, which I recorded for you all to enjoy in the background. 
So yeah, I would like for us at the very least to have the ability to have disabled weapons versions of these races. Players that enjoy pew pewing each other and shooting each other while horse racing, that's fine. You do you, have fun. There's some of us that actually want to have clean horse racing in Red Dead Online. So that would be nice if we had that, but alas, we don't. Another thing I wish we had, but we can't at the moment in Red Dead Online, is no contact option. Because sometimes it's not just a weapon you have to worry about. It's another player, either intentionally or unintentionally, not paying attention, colliding into you, screwing you and them over at the same time. Whereas in uh, GTA Online, when it comes to racing, you can have a, a regular race instead of GTA-style race. And you can have non-contact-style racing in GTA Online if you don't want other cars colliding into you. The same thing should be in Red Dead Online for horse racing, but alas, it's not. I also would like very much for us to have the ability to vote on the next mode, our horse race. So you complete, for example, Gap Tooth Open Race. Instead of it RNGing you into uh, the next race or into the same race again, because that does happen, it would be nice if a few options popped up on the screen, just like in GT Online and other multiplayer games where everybody playing would have the opportunity to vote on the next race, whether it's in a LeGras, Ansberg, Stillwater Creek, you get the idea. In conclusion, over a week ago when Rockstar said we were getting new races to Red Dead Online, my expectations for these races were pretty low. Therefore, I wasn't really disappointed. They were pretty much what I was expecting. And even though I really do hate the open target races, as I've already mentioned, I didn't really enjoy Cumberland Falls or Benedict Point. Both of them happen to be open target races. The others, for the most part, were okay, except for the occasional jerk-off shooting you in the back of the head with a double barrel shotgun or a pistol or a repeater. Other than that, the horse races were okay. Nothing special. Something to hold us over for a little longer as we patiently wait the summer updates. And it's especially, I guess, welcoming for anyone that's really into horse racing and Reddit online. Especially since we still have uh, triple money, triple XP payouts for horse racing at the recording of this video throughout the uh, event week, which uh, the new horse races were introduced. So that's my thoughts regarding the horse races. They could have been better if uh, we uh, had a different UI system, which allowed you to host it yourself allowed you to select specific races you'd like to do, not just races, but other modes in the game, and invite friends, policy members to have some friendly horse racing. The ability to disable weapons would be nice. Non-contact option would be great, and the ability to actually vote on what horse race you would like to do next at the conclusion of the race that you just finished. All that would be awesome, but unfortunately, that's not the way it's set up in Red Dead Online for whatever rhyme or reason. Anyways, your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding the new horse races in Red Dead Online. As always, welcome below in the comments section.